hi guys this is Jody cooking welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some fruit punch so here I have some watermelon and as you can see I cut it up I also have some pineapple some strawberry some blackberry and I'm gonna add some ginger to it okay and you don't have to use the same fruits that I'm using. You can always use fruits that you like, okay? So this is basically what I have in my fridge. So that's the reason why I'm using it. So first, you're gonna need a blender. And guys, make sure your fruits is all cut up, okay? Especially your watermelon and your pineapple and even your strawberry. You can always leave the blackberry because that doesn't need to cut. You can always take your hands and just push it right down because there's a lot of space at the bottom. So now I'm adding my ginger guys make sure you slice your ginger before adding it okay so now i'm adding my water and don't fill the water all the way to the top okay oops i turned it the wrong way i can't believe this <laughs> so funny Finally. So now I'm going to blend it all up. My blender have the same color as my nails. Oh, awesome. <laughs> So after I finish blend it, I'm gonna add it to a jug, okay? So you wanna make sure you keep a jug close by. I did not blend up all of my fruits all at once, so now I'm gonna do this batch. So just carry on with the same process, okay?
I got a lot of juice from it. Look at that guys, so much. So guys, you're gonna make sure you have a large jug and make sure you also have a strainer so you can strain your juice, okay? And I'm gonna strain my juice at least two to three times because I want it to be nice and smooth, okay? I'm using a spoon guys to stir it because this spoon help it for it to come through quicker because these things guys take a lot of patience, I'm telling you. So this is going to be my second time straining it and as you can see guys it's coming through properly. So all my juice is finally strained so now I'm going to add two lime and guys make sure you strain your lime because you don't want the bits from the lime to go into your juice okay. So this is totally optional but I'm gonna add a Kool-Aid to my juice okay because it's gonna give it such a nice color so that's why I'm adding it but it is totally optional guys. And I'm also adding some granulated sugar. You can also use dark sugar but I prefer to use the white sugar and guys you can always taste to your liking. So now I'm going to add some ice to my jug. Because I want it to be nice and cool and refreshing. Oh yeah. And I'm also gonna add some lemon and some lime and some of my fruits that's left. It's gonna give it such a nice flavor. And I'm also adding some cut ginger. Make sure you slice it up. There's a seed from the watermelon got in there, but you know I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> I don't want it in there. And I'm gonna also add some mint leaf, of course. So this is the moment I've been waiting for. Now I'm adding my juice to my jug. And guys, look at that. That looks so refreshing. It looks absolutely good. I'm telling you, look at the color. Mm -mm -mm. And you know, guys, I'm gonna have to get myself a glass. So here I am adding a strawberry on top just for decoration and I'm also adding some ice to my glass. Ha! 
adding lime and blackberry to my glass because I think it looks so good. Feel as if I'm in a restaurant. I give my juice 10 out of 10 because it looks so good and it tastes amazing. I'm telling you. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please like, share to all of your friends, all of your family, and all over on your social media. Guys, please subscribe for many, many other videos. And if you do try this recipe, please comment below. Until next time, bye! Cheers! Lots of love!